good morning children this is vandana kushwaha and today in this video i am going to tell you the different poetic devices used in the poem elementary school classroom in a slum composed by stephen spender so basically in this poem two mainly poetic devices are used one is simile and second one is metaphor so simile again i'll explain you what is simile simile is where the two things are compared and the words of comparison are given just like like search as so in this poem various examples of simile are given so where simile has been used i'm going to tell you the first is like ruthless weed so through the poet stephen spender uh the children of the elementary school which lies in a slum area are compared to the rootless weed rootless weed here means the unwanted grass so these slum children are considered useless because the poet thinks that the people think that these slum children are not important for the society so like word is used here so it means the comparison is done with the these children's comparison has been done to rootless weed so here simile is used the second example of simile is like bottle bits on a stone so here the poet describes the piteous miserable and the pathetic condition of the slum children they are so weak they are so mal nutrition that their bones peep through their window and they are wearing the discarded broken you know cracked uh, glasses so these glasses these spectacles were thrown by the rich people and we may also associate it like these spectacles are worn by the authorities who have been given the duty to take care of such children and these authorities are not are neglecting these school children so they are not being provided uh, the the proper infrastructure so uh, means these officials are not able to see the clear sight of pain or plight of these children so again like bottle bits on stone so again like is used so it means simile is used and the third example of simile is like catacombs catacombs means the underground graves so the house of these children the slum where where they live so look like the underground graves as if the children living in a hell so they are born in these slums and they die there so they have been compared to the catacombs so like again here is word like is used to so here means again there is a comparison so here is simile used so next example of simile is slum as big as doom so there the word of as is used so again it is simile so what is the meaning of this uh line so the, these are so these slums which are graves for just like grave for these children so children here are living just like hell uh so again yeah, here simile is used so these were the examples of the simile let's move to the metaphors so at different places metaphors is used the first example of metaphor is like rats eyes so the poet has told has given us the description of the classroom where different different children are seated so there was one child who has uh, the curative eyes uh, just like rat so uh, one child rather than focusing in the class and what is being taught in the class in spite of focus, focusing uh, the class the teacher he is looking here and there he is very curious just as a rat rat is very curious when, when it comes to your house and it keeps on looking the same way this boy has curious uh, you know rats uh, curious eyes so because he is hungry he he that's why he is not able to concentrate in the class so 
there is a hunger and deprivation in his eyes so here is metaphor is used metaphor uh where there is uh, let me tell you what metaphor is metaphor is where the comparison is there but the words of comparison is not given just like in the simile like we use such as but in metaphor we don't come give the words of comparison but there is a comparison fine like we did rats eyes rats these that boys eyes have been compared to the rats eyes uh, so this is the example of metaphor another example of metaphor is father's nile disease so another example the poet gives uh, generally we get in inheritance the property the back balance the money land but there is a one child in the classroom who did not get anything in, in, in inheritance but what he got in inheritance the nailed the twisted uh, bones disease from his father so the boy uh, you know has been compared to the nail disease of his father so this is the another example of metaphor so another example of metaphor is from fog to endless night so these slum children who are studying in elementary school they don't have a very bright future so the future of these children is uncertain and eternally dark and dim so here also metaphor is used next example of metaphor is a narrow street sealed in with a lead sky a narrow street here is in the slum where children live in their cramped house slum area cramped house so here is this is another example of metaphor then history is there whose language is sun so <clears throat> the poet here wants to say that you don't need to th give them sympathy by giving your discarded things so if you really want to give them give them access to the books give them proper infrastructure proper education proper teachers so that they could give them education in proper manner and these children if they get the proper edu education so they will create history so they will they are capable enough to create history so here metaphor is used another example of metaphor is squirrel's game as you see the one child one child who is sitting at the next and last of the bench he is rather than focusing in the class he is looking outside so outside there is a tree on that tree a squirrel is coming climbing and getting down so the poet expresses the boy's desire to play like squirrel so he's not interested in the classroom he wants to play like uh, the squirrel he wants freedom because nothing is going in his head he is not able to understand anything so he wants to go out and play and he wants to be free like a squirrel so here is metaphor used next is tree room so this is another example of metaphor the poet refers here the hiding place of the squirrel tree room it means on the tree the hiding place of the squirrel the boy imagines that tree room is full of pleasure fun and pleasure so he likes that place so here is also a metaphor is used another example future painted with a fog so the poet again says to see the pitiable pathetic conditions of these children the poet says the future of such children is very dark and bleak because they are not getting anything from here no purpose is being fulfilled from here so after studying for from here they are not going to get anything so poet doesn't see the bright future of the children here that's why he is saying the future is painted with a fog the poet refers to the black future of the slum children as the fog blurs the view as the fog blurs the view the same way these children's future is blurred by the hopelessness there's no bright future after studying here because they are not getting anything uh, education is for name place in such school 
So children, these were the uh, poetic devices used in this poem. Hope you will mark all these devices in your uh, poem and my this video will help you in understanding all these devices. So children, if you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel Vandana's Academy. Thank you so much.